Hello everyone, welcome back to Budget Sports and thank you so much for joining me on today's video. Today I want to show you four different methods that I've used as a gear hoist or bow hoist, gun hoist to get my equipment up into the tree. I'm going to tell you the pros and cons of each and I'm going to tell you which one is my favorite but I don't hear it talked about a whole lot so stay tuned to the end because it just might be your new favorite as well. So first up on the list is something that I'm sure a lot of us either have used in the past or maybe still use and that's just a length of rope. This happens to be Dynaglide, you could use paracord, nylon rope you got at the dollar store or the hardware store or Walmart or whatever. Uh, obviously Dynaglide is commonly used uh, these days for shadow hunters who are pulling the rappel rope out of the tree so it becomes a dual purpose item. And uh, I put two little night eyes S beaners at the end of it and it becomes really convenient to hook one end to my pack or to my saddle, to my belt, whatever, and the other end to my bow, my pack, my weapon of choice, whatever it is, and haul it up and down the tree that way. Uh, one of the big disadvantages of just using rope, as I'm sure you probably discovered, is if you're not very careful with it, it can easily become a tangled mess in your pocket. I saw a Facebook post the other day about a guy who said he spent 30 minutes trying to get his rope untangled when he got it out of his pocket. Uh, the other thing is when you get down to the ground after lowering your rope or your bow down, this is all, now you have 15, 20, 30 feet of rope lying on the ground, it very easily gets wrapped up around branches and pretty soon you can find yourself in a frustrating situation as you're trying to wrap it up. Now one thing that will help is what I've done here is if you wrap it up in a figure eight, you can kind of see that it all just kind of falls out. And if you haven't seen how to do this before, I'm not the first person to show this, but I'll take one end, put it between my thumb and my pointer finger and then go in a figure eight pattern behind my pinky and then just make that figure eight all the way up. But if you do this figure eight pattern, it really does help keep it uh, a lot more tangle free. It's not gonna be perfect all the time. You're still gonna have issues with it getting wrapped up around sticks if you have a lot of excess laying on the ground. But overall, uh, this is a huge uh, advantage as far as being able to keep it tangle free is if you do take the time uh, to not just ball it up or not uh, wrap it up in loops, but to actually wrap it up in the figure eight and then you can take the end, kind of wrap it around a few times. So obviously the advantage of using rope is that it can be a very compact, very small, very light. It can be a dual purpose item. And of course, if you use something like paracord, it's readily available and very inexpensive. But over the years, I did kind of get tired of wrapping up rope that way. So eventually I got one of these. This is a hawk pull up rope and it comes with a handle that would be very similar to what we had on our kites as a kid. And so what I would do is I would clip this onto my backpack. I would unwrap a few strands here and clip it onto my bow with the clip on this end. And then as I climb, it just kind of would come off all on its own. Once I pulled my bow up, I would go ahead and wrap this back up for the hunt so it was out of the way. And then of course, the same thing when I was ready to get down, unhook it and just lower the, the bow and it just kind of unravels on its own. Now this is pretty cool. This is very inexpensive. It only costs, I think, less than $5. I'll put a link down in the description. I may be wrong about the price, but I'll put a link down below. It's not very expensive. It's uh, very cheap, it's very lightweight, but again, this is another way that I think is a little bit simpler to manage your rope line uh, that just keeps things organized. I used this for quite a few years until recently when I still started to get frustrated at the fact that when I would climb down out of the tree, whatever amount of rope I had let out is now laying on the ground. And there were times that it would be tangled around every bush, stick, briar, whatever it was, and it would be incredibly frustrating. So while this is cheap, it's uh, light, and it's pretty easy to manage your rope, I still didn't find this to be the best solution. So about a year or so ago, I switched over to using this Allen Company retractable gear hoist. Now this is awesome. You clip on your bow, as you climb, it pulls out. You pull your bow up, and as you pull your bow up, it retracts. Same thing when you go to get down, you let your bow down, it pulls out. As you climb down, it retracts, and you get down to the base of the tree, and you have no rope laying on the ground, you have no rope tangling, and you have no time spent wrapping up your rope and trying to keep it neat and organized. It's never tangled. It's very, very rare that it wraps up around any kind of a stick or branch or anything like that. And this has been really cool. Now, this cost, usually the price varies on Amazon. Again, I'll put a link down below. This costs somewhere between 12 and $15. And I have a love-hate relationship with it. First of all, I love the retracting. It's amazing. Um, it's got a little Velcro thing back here. So I just slip that through the Molly loop of my backpack and it lives right on my hip at all times. It's always where I need it. It also has a clip if that would work better for your situation. Uh, the reason I say I have a love-hate relationship with it, however, is that this uh, line here is incredibly, incredibly small. When my hands are cold, it's about all I can do to really keep a good grip on this line uh, to be able to pull up a bow. I've tried using this before to pull up things like uh, maybe a 10-pound hang-on stand, and it was about all I could do. It was tough. The lines, I won't say cutting my fingers, but it's really digging into your fingers. It's really hard to grip onto this, especially the colder it gets and the colder your hands are. 
So while this is cheap and it is amazing, I would take this over my other two options any day of the week, I wasn't happy with the thin line and so I set out to find the perfect solution. And finally onto the last option which is my favorite and it is this retractable gear hoist. Now I know what some of you are probably thinking, you're thinking, oh that has got to be the Doyle's gear hoist, I've heard all about it. Nope, it's not. See a while ago I saw some people online mentioning that they use retractable dog leashes for their gear hoist. Unfortunately, when I looked at Walmart and Amazon, I was having a hard time finding one that had a long enough line in it. A lot of them had a 12, maybe 15 foot line, but I typically get 20, sometimes even 25 feet up in a tree. And then recently I went to Harbor Freight and I found this dog leash for $6 and it has a 24 foot line in it, exactly what I was looking for. Now obviously, if I take it out of this pouch here, obviously it doesn't come with a camouflage pouch. I'll mention that more in just a moment. But here is the dog leash. Obviously it's a bright blue color, not ideal for hunting. But you can also see that I've cut off the typical handle that is on this dog leash. Unfortunately that does mean that you can see right inside to the string where dirt and debris could get in there and possibly gum up the mechanism inside. So my amazing wife made me this pouch. We already had the camo and the zippers and everything around the house. This pouch is awesome because it does keep all the dirt out of those holes, but she also put these straps and buttons on the back where I can just slip this right through the molly of my backpack and keep it on my hip pretty much at all times. So what's the advantage of this over the Allen Company hoist? Well, the line is significantly thicker. It's not as thick as paracord, but it is significantly thicker than the Allen Company gear hoist and it is much easier on the hands when pulling up your gear. Now obviously the disadvantage is this does weigh slightly more than the Allen Company gear hoist and you're going to have to do some modifications. Now one thing I want to mention is that if you happen to not have a wife that can sew or maybe you don't know how to sew, um, Jerry over at Custom Gear Modification sells this pouch which is made for the uh, Doyle's gear hoist that I mentioned earlier and this does fit the dog leash and so you could go over to the uh, custom gear modifications website and you could pick up one of these it has some tri glides that will work on your molly loops as well or i'm sure there's other ways you can figure out how to mount this on a backpack or to your safety saddle uh, but i'll just tell you guys that this is my new favorite gear hoist it is so much easier on the hands there's no issues with tangling again you get up down Everything is so smooth. And another thing I'll point out is while this does make a sound when you pull it in and out, I do feel like it's actually a little bit quieter than that Allen Company gear hoist. All right, so there it is. Four different ways to pull your bow, your gun, or other gear up into your tree. Again, my favorite is the Harbor Freight dog leash. I'll put a link down in the description. Go check it out for yourself. I think it's a pretty awesome solution. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And until next time, remember to get off YouTube and get outdoors into God's great creation.